reminder that viewers uh, may find some of the details in the following report distressing. Uh, Ashling, what can you tell us? Yes, well, Colette Boy B wasn't in court for this motion this morning, but members of his family were. Both Boy A and Boy B were found guilty of the murder of Anna Creasel, who died in 2018. She was 14 at the time. The two boys were 13, and Boy B is now appealing his conviction. Today's hearing was to see if fresh evidence can be introduced in that case. And that fresh evidence is expert analysis from two forensic psychologists who have reviewed the interviews that Boy B carried out with members of Angola the Shia Kona as they were conducting their investigations. Now, the defence today is saying that it was central to the prosecution's case that there was an assertion that Boy B was an articulate, capable and intelligent child. However, it says the new evidence shows that this was a misunderstanding and a misinterpretation of Boy B's demeanour at the time of the interviews. The prosecution today is saying that Boy B has never disputed the information he gave to Gardaí, and that is that he lured Anna Cree from her home. He brought her to that derelict farmhouse. He provided the builder's tape for strangulation and he remained and he watched as she was killed. The prosecution saying that Boy B believed he was an innocent bystander. Now, the three judge court today said that this motion was pretty extraordinary, saying that long after the trial had concluded, the defence had gone to find expert analysis um, to address an issue that had never been raised during the trial calling it pretty remarkable. They reserved their judgment in today's hearing. They say they hope to give that judgment before the end of the term. Ashley Nikushla, thank you for that.